my hey fucking Hey everybody, fecal. welcome Jesus back Christ. to Pixel Junk. Hang on, I gotta start the timer. You're not gonna be able to unlock it. Alright. Why? Take it, cause you need to have my finger to open it. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ever, oh, did you not notice that missing? Oh man, I only got nine <laughs> fingers. <laughs> fucking... This fucking battle right here, oh my Jesus. <laughs> the second week in a row. <laughs> Alright, well, anything from you? No, green job. Thanks, good. That's good. That's great. Now, back to this fucking guy. Alright, well, let's... So the prize, what, like, what, happened, what happened to the two dudes that were with you? Oh, they're super dead. <laughs> uh, at least uh, he's gone out of you. That's good. Yeah, so just run and hope he doesn't fucking area pound you. Oh, good, he missed. It's like uh, fighting, uh, like, Dark Eater Madeer. From Dark Souls, like just that long drawn out fight with a winged enemy. Is that moving your bits that I'm trying to shoot? Oh my fucking crusty <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ow. Alright, let's see if I can just do fire damage to this guy. Something with permanence. Alright, stack these arrows. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to fucking... Green drop. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take forever to fucking get him up full he uh, fire damage. <sighs> there we go, fucking full fire damage, finally. Now, let's see if I can... Eh. Try this. That doesn't have a whole lot of tear. Let's use one of these. Now yeah, hit that. Come on, keep hitting it. Why are you aiming slightly above where I'm trying to shoot? Uh, let's try. He's weak. He's not weak to shock, is he? I'm well over. He's being rough shape. I'm trying to freeze him. Yeah, he's fully he's frozen now. Okay, let's go back to these air oh, now these have uh yeah, these have the most here. Oh let's Is he dead? You got him. Nice. Oh purple drop. Stormbird heart, thank nice. fucking god. <laughs> Don't need to kill any more of those. <laughs> right. We get the we get the thunder Do we get the thunder jaw heart as well? Uh, I don't think we got a thunder jaw heart. Oh look, there's another one. Uh I think it's hard to tell from the distance. Could be. Could be. That only took two episodes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, back to the easy ones, I guess. We should do a uh, we should do a series in Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls three series. Well, if you want to, your pick next. Yeah, I might do Dark Souls. Dark Souls three because it'll give me an excuse to buy it, and then we'll just see how far along we can get. <laughs> probably not very far. I'll probably get to like the, the fucking dance or the boreal yeah, valley. Totally like fuck stumbled. this. <laughs> Two episodes <laughs> in. Yeah, well, she's fairly far along, but yeah. Yeah, so I don't think I got Rhodesia. Or Ro Rosacea. Yeah. What is it? What are you, where are you getting Rhodesia? I don't know. I think that's the type of plant. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so let's maybe go to an area. Let's maybe go for Snap Ma, because we were just fucking around with those guys. Maybe they respawned. <laughs> I mean, they probably will with the fast travel screen. Yeah, I, th I think everything resets when you, uh... When you go to a checkpoint? When you teleport. Oh man, it's when we have to kill that fucking thunder hawk again. Well, we can at least leave this time. Thunder, 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 hawk. Squee! I gotta try and be a bit more intelligent about it this time. And so we'll do this. We have a, uh... Is that a Ravager or... No, it's a... Sawtooth. Alright, so... 
No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Alright. Let's chill out here. What up, boy? There we go. Here we go, override. Now we can fuck some shit up. There we go. Alright. Don't need this guy, but... Yeah, Satu's probably gonna fuck him up anyway. Where'd Satu go off to? Did you kill it? Oh, there it is. They killed something. Let's try it. There you go. Now it's gonna be fighting one of these snap mobs. Here we go. Now I don't even need to do nothing. Oh shit! Yes, I do. <laughs> Dodge is the thing that's attacking it. Oh, ow, my anus. That would kill you, right? Like a like a two ton bit of metal pouncing on you and like shredding you with giant claws. No, I guess I just got Al Aloy's uh, turbo armor here. Now what we got here? Oh, not okay. Not what I wanted. Oh, okay, there's another one jumping through my face. Come on, where's Satu? That come on, help me. Satu, help me. Oh, there's this fight in the third one. Yeah, I think so. Meanwhile, there's a stormbird in the background. I'm gonna get me a piece of that action. <laughs> Another rare drop. Snap my heart. Nice, yeah. We got it. Man, we're getting lots in this episode. Got it. <laughs> now kill the scrapper because I think we need a scrapper heart. Don't we? Uh, do we have a. I think we have a scrapper. Yes, we do have a scrapper. We don't have a sawtooth. If I could kill my sawtooth there. I don't think there's any more whatnots nearby. Also, what is this? Is this a stormbird that yeah, got... It's the, yeah, it's the stormbird you killed. I didn't think it was in a river, but... Okay. Yeah, it was. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I should also oh. totally... I should just go to Meridian and buy some sticks, because... I'm out of sticks. You could sell the hearts, because aren't they worth a lot of money? Yeah, but I kind of want... You know, they got to be the trophies for the end. Oh, okay. Alright, so sorry, buddy. I'm going to kill you here real quick. Get rid of this bit. But master! Yep. Okay, and let me take... Uh, nope, you didn't have what I needed. Alright, well, killed out you for no reason. Out of spite, it doesn't die. <laughs> it doesn't give you the heart. Yeah. It's kind of, I mean, I guess it's stupid about RNG, is how it's like, not everything doesn't always have the things. Like, you would think that if they have a heart, then everyone would have a heart. Yeah. I suppose you could say that it's damaged or something, but... Yeah. Still could be like an lame. undamaged heart. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they could do that. Do you think this game will get a sequel? Uh, totally. Absolutely. I think PlayStation did well investing in this IP. Yep. I mean, they've always invested in Gorilla Games, but, uh... That's more re most recent Killzone. At least Killzone 3 sucked feesies. And so I don't know where this game came from, because it's like... Man, the same people made Killzone 3? What? Yeah. Well, Killzone Shadowfall was alright. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the... I think Killzone 2 I, I enjoyed. Um, but man, 3 was bad. Yeah. Just fucking dragged on and nothing happened and ugh. I think primarily it was like invested in that whole move thing. Because, yeah. Because uh, you could... That was one of those games where you could get the move controller with it. Yeah, like just fuck that. Like fuck off making... It was a cool concept. It what? just didn't work at all. No. They said, "I like how Sony went, saw the Wii, U, like the Wii remote, saw how terrible they were. I was like, we can make something just as bad. <laughs> at least the Kinect tried to do something a bit different, you know? Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I liked. I, mean, I like Kinect still bro was broken. Yeah, Kinect was totally broken. Um, Move worked when it was just the controllers." But, like, the, the, the Killzone gun, not only was it a thing that you shot with, it was like a, a thing that you put the controllers in. So it it also controlled your movement. So it's like you're shooting with the thing that you control movement with. Yeah. It was just stupid. It was like trying to play Guitar Hero by moving the guitar. It's yeah. Like that, that's, it's too imprecise. Especially when it's like, I don't know, it, it, yeah, it was stupid. I wanted it to work, but it didn't. I guess that's why, you know, VR works now. Because VR is great. Move controllers, uh, or the motion controllers, or whatever you call it, with the Devive. That's all exactly what you want it to be. And, and when you get into games like, uh, I think it's... 
Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. That's like a, that's like a great example for it's a stupid name, but it's a great example for uh, what you want a game like that to be because you can like snap one controller to the front of the gun, like the front handle, and then I'm just gonna go to Meridian. Actually, how many sticks do I have? Do I have enough? I only got 34. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Meridian. Um, well, what do we need? What do we still need to get? Uh, let's go here. We need to get. Uh, there's a few that I haven't ticked off this list, but uh, Thunderjaw, Rockbreaker, Trampler, Behemoth, uh, Ravager, Sawtooth. We haven't got one of those yet, I don't think. We got a Snapmaw, Longleg, Glintock, Charger, and Broadhead. Uh, so, recraft my arrows. Alright. What are you laughing at over there, Adam? Reading the comic. Are we, back? Are we back? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We're only gone for five fucking minutes. Well, I'm just crafting some of my shit here. I'm restocking on supplies. Get back out there and kill some things. Some so I should probably resume the timer. Look at Aloy. And the shimmering. She's all about it. I like the idea that she goes to pat, like somebody goes to like tap her on the shoulder, and she gets like <laughs> <laughs> from the shield, like Jesus. <laughs> Like the kid on the fence in Jurassic Park. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> <Turtle> <laughs> flies back. Oh, shoots off. <laughs> no, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, is that his name? Yeah, Timmy. Uh, charger site. Let's go here. See if I find a charger. Yeah. Ooh. So what have you been up to? Sitting here <laughs> playing this fucking <laughs> game for the last three hours. What the? Uh, fuck I'm, I is meant, that you mean? know, meant. Uh, Maybe less uh, fourth wall breaking, and uh, what what are you up to in your day to day life? Oh, uh, I've been doing a lot of writing for my course. Got a couple of nice short stories. Um, I've my radio show's going pretty well. Uh, uh, we just did our Canada Big Canada Day episode. We recorded that today. So oh, we played nice. a lot of Canadian, uh, all Canadian music from the best that can Canadian artists have to offer. Uh, I'm in the middle of writing a camp, a one-shot campaign for a charity event for uh, a local uh, gaming charity, and I'm working on a or for D D one shot, and I'm working on a longer campaign oh, set in what is going to be a crusading uh, era Middle East, although not the Middle East obviously, but uh, inspired by that. Uh, and I'm working on a board game. Nice. That's a lot of things. Oh, yeah. I'm also learning how to play the piano again. Oh. And I'm cooking more. Again. Oh, shit. Well, I, I learned once and I forgot about the... Are uh, you trying to better yourself? Yeah. What a pleb. What have what you been up to? Uh, oh, man, we got a charger oh. heart. <laughs> Big horn we ram. Oh, we got it. Uh, I've been doing work and, uh, you know, I got back from Montreal. Like, yeah. That was pretty cool. That must have been a cool a not relevant amount of time ago. Yeah. Because uh, of the way this has been recorded. Yeah, it was, that was. That sounded like it was a really cool trip. It was Especially fun. With the, the dude who vomited all over the seats. Yeah, we well, haven't told that story. No, he had not on the show. Well, yeah, there was a vomit man. Vomit man. Uh, spewing all his lunch on the seat below. <laughs> he so, didn't sing it at all. That's so say uh, Elton John's lyrics. In. <laughs> Rocket <laughs> man. Vomit on the seats. So all, all it wasn't a rocket, all man. All his vomit was rocket. <laughs> I don't know, I guess, like, you know, just I maybe give it a little bit of the backstory, just so that it uh, makes sense, some context. Um, it was a long walk to get to that part of the track. There's, like, the entry point to the to the track. It's on an island, so you, you kind of need to come in on the entry point. Uh, is at the bottom of the island, and then you walk all the way to the top, uh, and it's a long walk. It's, like, a four-kilometer walk. Um, so... Aaron's knees gave out by the end of the Oh, yeah, the my, the my, my whole body was just telling me to fuck off. <laughs> Maybe if you did a bit of exercise. Nah, I don't have time for that. Where's it, Glint? Let's go for Glint Hawks. There we go. Glint Hawks light. And long legs. Do we have long legs? Man, it's no. a good thing you weren't just here and got blitzed apart by fucking... This was a different spot. Oh, we haven't been okay. here yet. Uh, so, yeah, it's a long walk. So, I, I was assuming the guy, maybe he had a big breakfast. Uh, he was a larger chap. Maybe had a big breakfast and then went on a excursion that was maybe a bit longer than he had, had thought because it was Friday morning and uh, Friday was the first day of the real track events. So 
probably did a lot more walking than he anticipated. So right when we arrived, I just heard a bunch of um, rather wet, moist burps. Uh, <gasps> you know, you, you know, you know, burp. It just sounded like there was, you know, way more liquid than you need to have in a burp. So I just looked behind me, and uh, yeah, he was uh, letting letting the ripcord go on whatever was in his gut. A uh, bit, bit of chunder. Oh yeah, a bit of a bit of the pink chunder. And uh, that's what we should call our company in in, uh, in GTA Pink no, that, Chunder. That's our uh, our mercenary, our PMC. Yeah, the Pink Chunder. Um, oh, there's a bunch of Glint Hawks over there, and a bunch of long legs right here. So anyway, uh, yeah, he, he spewed his lunch all over his legs and all over the seat in front of him. All over his legs. Well, yeah, he didn't really have anywhere to throw up, so. And, uh, of course, there was nobody sitting in those seats at the time. It was still very early in the morning. Uh, maybe about 9 or 10 o'clock. And, uh, anyway, yeah. So, eventually, those people started showing up to sit in their seats. And, uh, they were not too pleased with this guy who just said, uh, through, I'm sure, a raw throat from all of the, uh, the vomit and stomach acid, said, I'm so sorry. And then uh, chose to do nothing but stay in one position for the next eight hours. So he didn't clean the mess up or anything. He just sat there. I'm sure smelling his sour lunch as it festered in front of him in his sweltering oh. heat. <laughs> oh. And just became scabby and skinned oh. over. All right. Did you ever tell you about the time that I've, I threw up in our local pro provincial government? building like the head of our so our government is located like the seat of our government is located in the building we call it confederation building because it was looks built, like a big middle finger yeah it was built to commemorate <laughs> i never noticed that before <laughs> but yeah it, it's, it was built to commemorate when newfoundland joined the con, you know confederation with canada because we used to be our own country and then we joined canada back in the 40s oh boy. um and uh anyway I, I was working there one summer in a job and i don't know why i got i think it was because i was taking medication at the time and the medication required me to take, eat it with food, and I forgot to eat it with food this day. And I, uh, so, I went into work, and I sat down at the desk, and I was literally sitting there for two seconds, and I was like, no, I'm gonna vomit. So I had to run out, <laughs> and, and my boss caught me in the hallway, and he was like, Adam, how are you doing? You've been working here for oh, about a month. God. Do you like working here? I'm like, yeah, yeah, and I could feel it, like, starting to come up. It's starting to come up, and he's like, so, Adam, do you, and I held, I was the only time I've ever done this, I, like, held my hand, I was like, I, no, and I ran <laughs> out of the office, and I got almost to the bathroom, and I threw up all over the hall. <laughs> oh, my God. So I had the whole, I threw up, I threw up in my hands. So I had oh, to hold geez. my hands like cupped in front of my face, yep, and I ran into the, and it was dripping all down the hall. So you can see splotches of it down the hall as I ran to the bathroom and I got in there and I threw it into the toilet and then I just washed up and then I went to my boss like, yeah, I just got I'm not feeling very well, so I'm gonna go home for the morning. Did you tell him you threw up? No. Oh, so he just thought you ran away and then said I wasn't feeling good. Well, I'm sure he put two and two together. I mean, maybe. Maybe you just thought you were like, yeah, was fuck that, this guy. Was that a heart you just picked uh, up? We don't need to shell walk our heart. No, we got one? Yeah, we got one a while ago. Did we? Yeah, okay. a couple episodes back. I was just killing them because they were there and they were preventing me from coming over this way. So, what I could do, maybe... Oh, shit. Maybe not. I was going to do a rope caster and attach these guys to the ground. I think one of the drawbacks is maybe it's a balancing thing. When you use a rope caster, which, if you don't know, connects one object to another. So you can basically pin machines to the ground so they can't move. As or soon to as, each other. Or to each other. As soon as, soon as you uh, attack them, it gets rid of the rope. Did you, it's kind of stupid. My dad told me a story once where my uncles, there was a woman who lived on their street when they were a kid who was apparently a fucking bitch. And uh, they, she had a flat roof, like the roof of the building. It wasn't on a slant. It was just like a like a like a flat roof. Mm. And so they found a stray dog, and they found a stray cat, and they tied the two of them together, and put them in a bag. <laughs> like a, <laughs> they put them in a big sack and tossed it up on her roof. Oh my god! <laughs> so it was this what like seven o'clock in the morning. This woman wakes up because there's a. Fucking racket go along in because these yeah, two say. animals aren't tied. Oh, we got a Glen Hockard. Glen Hockard. Yeah, no, that's that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, what also, the fucking uh, terrible. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, why can't I drop this? You cannot drop this item right now. And I think later on in the same day, they 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 
the same dog, I think. They saw it shit on somebody's lawn, so they went over and picked it up in a, pla in a paper bag, and it caught the bag on fire and left it on her steps. Oh, so she great. went with the stamp on it, she got <laughs> shit all I mean, over people her. must know by it. Like, I don't know when that whole thing started, the whole stamping dog shit out, but... Or even just any kind of feces, but I don't know, like... You, you have to be aware now that it's like, there's a bog oh, in yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah. But she was like an older woman. Apparently she would like, uh, like, threaten kids with violence because they just were like in her, uh, like, in, in the neighborhood. Where are they? I think that's, those are broadheads, uh, not broadheads, uh, Behemoth? tramplers. Tramplers. We need them. We could probably end. Yeah, we could probably, uh, fuck those guys up on the next one. Yeah. I still got these fucking Glenhawks coming after me, Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this episode. Yeah. So we'll see you, everybody, next time. Bye.